Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and an especially warm welcome to the month of December. As part of the Daily Vision Bible preparations for the happy occasion ahead, I've produced a special advent calendar that will hopefully demonstrate some of the Old Testament prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. So let us have a look behind door number one and see what today's reading is. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 now remember, we have already covered the Holy Genesis already here at the Daily Vision Bible. But what does this first cover, I wonder? I will put hostility between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will bruise your head, and you will bruise his heel. Well, clearly this tells us that the children of the woman shall always be the enemies of the descendants of the serpents. But perhaps there might be a deep understanding as to what this has to do with Jesus. Well, we will have to wait and see what other readings become available in the Daily Visual Bible Advent Calendar. It's Numbers chapter 16 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 16. Now Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Korath, the son of Levi, Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliham, and on the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took some men. They rose up before Moses, with some of the children of Israel, 250 princes of the congregation, called to their assembly, men of renown. They assembled themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said to them, You take too much on yourself, since all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and Yahweh is among them. Why do you lift yourselves up above Yahweh's assembly? When Moses heard him, he fell on his face. He said to Korah and to all his company, In the morning Yahweh will show you who I is and who is holy, and will cause him to come near to him. Even him whom he shall choose, he will cause to come near to him. Do this, take census, Korah and all his company, and put fire in them, and put incense on them before Yahweh tomorrow. It shall be that the man whom Yahweh chooses he shall be holy. You have gone too far, you sons of Levi. Moses said to Korah, Hear now, you sons of Levi. Is it a small thing to you, that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself, to do the service of Yahweh's tabernacle, and to stand before the congregation to minister to them, and that he has brought you near, and all your brothers, the sons of Levi, with you, do you see the priesthood also? Therefore you and all your company have covered together against Yahweh. What is Aaron that you murmur against him? Well, it was sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. And they said, We well, won't come up. Is it a small thing that you have brought us up out of a land flowing with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness? But you must also make yourself a prince over us. Moreover, you haven't brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey. Or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Will you put out the eyes of these men? We won't come up. Moses well, was very angry and said to Yahweh, Don't respect their offering. I have not taken one donkey from them. Neither have I hurt one of them. Moses well, said to Korah, You and all your company go before Yahweh. You and they, and now and tomorrow. Every man take a censer and put incense on them. And each man bring before Yahweh his censer, two hundred fifty censers, you also and Aaron each his censer. They each took his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense on it, and stood at the door of the tent of meeting with Moses and Aaron. Korah assembled all the congregation opposite them, to the door of the tent of meeting. Yahweh's glory appeared to all the congregation. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. They fell on their faces and said, God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and will you be angry with all the congregation? Now he spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the congregation, saying, Get away from around the tent of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Moses rose up and went to Dathan and Abiram. And the elders of Israel followed him. He spoke to the congregation, saying, Depart, please, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, 
least you be consumed in all essence. So they went away from the tent of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. On every side, Dathan and Abiram came out, and stood at the door of the tents with their wives, their sons, and their little ones. Moses said, Hereby you shall know that Yahweh has sent me to do all these works, for they are not for my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, if they experience what all men experience, then Yahweh hasn't sent me. But if Yahweh makes a new thing, and the ground opens its mouth and swallows them up, with all that belongs to them, and they go down alive into the grave, then you shall understand that these men have despised Yahweh. As he finished speaking all these words, the ground that was under them split apart. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, with their households, all of Korah's men, and all of their gods. So they, and all that belonged to them, went down alive into the grave. They have closed on them, and they perished from among the assembly. All Israel that were around them fled at their cry, for they said, At least the earth swallowed us up! Fire came out from Yahweh, and devoured the two hundred fifty men who offered the incense. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the census out of the burning and scatter the fire away from the camp. For they are holy, even to the senses of these sinners against their own lives. Let them be made beaten plates for a covering of the altar. For they offered them before Yahweh, therefore they are holy. They shall be assigned to the children of Israel. Eleazar the priest took the bronze census, which those who were burned had offered, and they beat them out for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial to the children of Israel, to the end that no stranger, who isn't of the offspring of Aaron, would come near to burn incense before Yahweh, that he not be as Korah, and his company, as Yahweh spoke to him by Moses. Well, the next day, all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, You have killed Yahweh's people. When the congregation was assembled against Moses and against Aaron, they looked toward the tent of meeting. They saw the cloud covered it, and Yahweh's glory appeared. Moses and Aaron came to the front of the tent of meeting. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Get away from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. Moses said to Aaron, Take your censer, and put fire from off the altar in it, and lay incense on it, and carry it quickly to the congregation, and seek forgiveness for them. For wrath has gone out from Yahweh, the plague has begun. Aaron did, as Moses said, and ran into the middle of the assembly. He saw the plague had begun among the people. He put on the incense, and sought forgiveness for the people. He stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now those who died by the plague were 14,700, beside those who died at the matter of Korah, and returned to Moses, to the door at the tent of meeting, and the plague was stopped.